At just over 37 feet long, this big boy weighs in dry weight, 8,800 pounds, but enough room to sleep up to 10 with style, comfort, and storage. You're not gonna find on a lot of like entry-level RVs. Let me tell you, the Crossroads Zinger 331BH is ready to take you and your whole family along for the trip, as long as your family doesn't equal more than nine. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing inside the Crossroads Zinger 331BH. Great entry level bunkhouse model for the family that's looking to get out and see America the safest way possible because this beauty has a bath and a half. Yes, the kids can have their own bathroom here in the back bunk room. Plus they have their own 13.5 BTU air conditioner with quick cool as well. They can cut on, set whatever they want as far as the air. Don't have to worry about messing with your HVAC out in the main area. Don't you love it? On an entry level RV. Yes, that's a win sign. Over here on the campsite, we got a double over bunk with an entertainment center, center underneath, 300 pound max capacity, dual LED lights. Plus you got your little privacy curtain right there. Good spot to put the TV right here. You got your double storage doors on the right. Good space right there. Not only good shelf space, but good kind of shoe space or bag space uh, right down here. Mudroom storage, if you want to call it that. Got the carpeted room back here. You got the jackknife sofa underneath a single over bunk with a 300 pound max capacity on this one. And look at this. That's actually bigger than most singles. Plus you got your own LED light, privacy window. When you're ready to just sit down and do some entertaining, just push that in. Kids can sit there. You got dual USB charging ports. And when that's ready to go out, you got a regular jackknife sofa underneath, which is just a little bit bigger than, you know, the, the bunk bed up top. But all in all, the kids or even the adults are going to love this. Think about the guy's hunting trip, the ladies' wine tour, or the ladies' hunting trip, the guy's beer or wine tour, whatever you want to do. Imagine all your friends sitting back here. You got your little storage shelf for your stuff right there along the back wall, 110 porch. Your jackknife sofa, your entertainment, people are sitting up here, people are sitting there, they're having fun. You can come and go as you please through the entry point bathroom right here with the porcelain bowl, corner mounted with the foot flush, large single basin sink, and your own medicine cabinet. Only thing I like to see is raised lips up top. You got it down the bottom, but when you go to open this up, stuff on the first two shelves are going to fall out. Storage space underneath as well. But regardless, you have room to do what you need to do, and you have that separation of space. If the kids or the friends want to stay and do their thing back here, they absolutely can. You walk into the living area space, you got dual opposing slides opening up the living and the kitchen area, giving us an island kitchen in the middle. With that pressed countertop, the molded edges, undermounted stainless steel sink with the 50-50 split and the high-rise faucet with the sprayer. And yes, this is technically an entry-level RV. I mean, having this is so nice. You even have the little pass-through right there. Now, Chris, why are you pointing out a pass-through? Because it's there. That's pretty darn cool, man. If you want to bungee strap you roll a bag to this leg over here. Imagine using that as storage space. Yeah, absolutely. Look, you can do with it whatever you want to. It's your RV. It's there. It's cool. And I like it. You do have some storage space underneath the sink over here. Good spot for your trash can. On the campsite, this is where I'm going to be doing my cooking. I got all the prep space and cleaning space right here. Three burner cooktop with the glass style grate. I got my push button LED lights on my controls plus a 16 inch oven. Right here, hood, flush mounted microwave, frosted glass inlay here. I like the shaker style cabinets with the brush nickel fixture and this frosted glass inlay, really bringing together the light on the dark accents. Crossroads did a good job making these. Tons of storage underneath as well. Solid wood construction, ball bearing drives, 10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo right here, made by Norcold. Good space right there for those long weekend getaways and my entertainment corner mounted with storage up top, sound bar and fireplace. That 30 inch Furion fireplace right there will kick off some great heat. You're looking at a little over 5,000 BTUs of heat. So for this space right here, now granted, 
15K BTU AC right here, which is ducted in this area and the master bedroom and bathroom. 13.5 BTU in the bunk room. 30,000 BTU furnace. You're gonna be all right with the temperature. That's what I'm trying to get at. Jackknife sofa and U-shaped dinette nestled in its own slide. You got this leatherette material that is comfortable, plush and light, plus it looks good. The darker material means I'm not gonna have as much wear and tear or stains show while I'm out on the road. Large panoramic windows, wood balances with a wood inlay and my mushroom lights, plus dual USB charging port. But think about it. This is the spot on this beautiful rustic style looking table where when you're ready to reconnect with the family, have those camp cooked meals, play the card games, play the board games, or just talk to the loved ones. Because sure, we might have been cooped up for almost two years, but did you talk? Did you get out and see America the safest way possible? Did you reconnect with your loved ones? Did you go to the mountains? Did you watch the sunrise or the sunset at a beautiful wherever with a cup of coffee in hand? No, now you can. And you can do it in the comfort of your own home. Plus there's storage underneath the side benches here. Got more storage over here in the main entry point. Plus my command panel, great grab and go spot right here. This is where I would put the backpack, the Kabu bag, you know, whatever to just grab and go. My convenience center, checking my water pump, my water heater. You do have a six gallon DSI bypass on this one, which is a little water heater bypass, giving you some hot water when you're ready to take a shower. Run out my three slides, check my fresh, my batteries, my black tanks, my awning, the whole nine. Plus I got some storage down there, all behind some solid wood cabinet doors. Easy to clean, linoleum flooring here with the upgraded floor. Got me another storage compartment right here that slides in a little bit. I mean, there's room and space. The Crossroads Zingers were built to be lightweight, but have comfort style and storage so that when you're ready to get out, you got everything that you need. Um, quarter mounted sink here, my vanity with my large single sink, my GFCI outlet, my medicine cabinet right here mirrored. Sorry there, Bobby. Raised lips on this one, that's nice. Keep all your little medicine bottles in there so they don't fall over. And a neo-angled shower. Look at this. Step up. You got 81 inch high ceilings on this Crossroads Zinger. So given that, and the fact that I have this uh, skylight with the fan right here, I don't even really need it because I'm not cramped up or down or left or right. I like the, the neo-angled showers with the glass enclosures because you do get that perception of more space. Plus with the glass, you get your privacy. It's not a curtain that's going to be blowing in the breeze on you. Nozzle right there. Porcelain bowl mounted right underneath some more storage. Great ward slash linen storage for the bathroom. And then come into the master with the solid pocket door separating us through the pass-through bathroom, which is another great feature. Sure, the bunk room has a bathroom there, but if you have people staying in the living room, they can come use the bathroom without disturbing you and vice versa. Queen bed nestled in the front cap here. Windows for cross flow of air and light. Storage underneath. Strut supported. Plus I got the mirrored ward storage right here and the storage lip. Dual USB charging port on the campsite and 110s on both sides. Plus my TV backer is on the front wall, not one of the side walls. I'm a fan of that because I'm not turning my head to watch TV. So at 37 feet, 8,800 pounds dry, this is a family entry-level RV that I think your family is going to love. Can sleep up to 10 on this beauty too. But we've seen the inside of the Crossroads Zinger 331BH. Let's go check out the outside. So here we are on the outside of the beautiful 2021 Crossroads Zinger 331BH. You're gonna notice that fiberglass superflex roof, aerodynamic profile. I'm a big fan of the blue, gray, and black graphics. Plus we got the diamond plated rock guard up front, twin 20 pound LP tanks, powered tongue jack and LED enclosed underbelly and powered stabilizer jacks, both in the front and the rear. I gotta tell you, for an entry-level RV, that's a really nice feature. They have some upgraded features on these that I don't even like calling them entry-level. Extra wide storage doors here for my pass-through storage, which is finished off. You're gonna notice that the, that width right there, you'll be able to fit the folding chairs in, the bags, the, you know, the fishing gear, the hunting gear, but having that just means you don't have those chairs knocking around on the inside. 
sealed safety glass all the way around, large awning covering up uh, also the uh, kitchen slide right here with the LED light strip, dual zone speakers, one here, one on the other side. I got my out, outside connections for my entertainment. If I want to do TV, plug in my boom box, charge up my cell phone, whatever you want to do. Solid steps leading into the entry point. And you'll notice the top step with the grip tape is a little bit bigger than the bottom two. That's for additional safety, but it's also pet friendly. And if you need a little help keeping the pet secure while you're at the campground, they even included a dog tie for you or a cat tie if you want to take your cat with you to the campground and put them on a leash. I don't think I've ever seen that, but you could be the first. Double axle on this one too. 14 inch aluminum rims on those Dexter Easy Lube axles. Black tank flush, very nice feature to have right here. And of course, the outside kitchen. I don't know what this is for. I guess it's storage and access to the pipes, but I think I would have put like a little drawer there. Or it could be a hideaway. I mean, Bob would see the handle, so he would grab my Girl Scout cookies and my bourbon, but you can still use it there. Two burner Flame King, plenty of prep space, LED light, TV backer, and connection right here as well. So you could technically have two outside TVs, plus my sink and my Hot Point dorm style fridge with the little ice maker tray right there. See, this is where... This is where Uncle Chris would keep the bourbon for the outdoor chats, get my three finger pour, my three cubes, and I'm hanging. We just come back from fishing, we just come back from hunting, hiking, hitting the beach, whatever. I'm cooking here. If I wanna bring my own grill, you got the LP Quick Connect right there. I mean, come on, man. It's that reconnection family experience that you need to have. Four by four sewer hose storage, spare tire, solid ladder mounted on the back with the handles going over the top for additional security, cable connection, backup camera prep, and the arched ceilings right there with the three inch rubber nozzles, keeping the uh, rain and snow off of this one. And even though we do have the ACs on top, this one is still 11 feet high. Got my 50 amp plug right there, because you do have dual ACs on this one that bunk room slides. My terminations are right there. And you got 51, 78, 39 on this one. 51 gallon fresh, 78 gallon gray, 39 gallon black tank. So if you wanna do some off the grid camping, you got enough to help you with that. Here's the other terminations right there. Black and gray. Right here, my city water connection, my black tank flush, my shower with hot and cold, plus my fresh water fill. Other side of my pass-through storage with the little plastic clip. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. Unloaded vehicle weight on this one, 8,900 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 10,000 pounds. That's where you go and you check. And then you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and the Gander, and you say, hey, this is what my vehicle can tow, so is this the one that's right for me? But I gotta tell you, man, if you're looking to sleep up to 10 people and you need something that's got some features, got some amenities, it's got some upgrades that most entry-level RVs don't have, this Crossroad Zinger 331BH is one you should check out. Absolutely, I would recommend it. Uh, but, it, you know, it's big. 37 feet, roughly 9,000 pounds. That's a house, as we say. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. And please click like, subscribe, and notify, so the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young from Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. That uh, outside kitchen's making me think I want to go fish and cook something up. So, hey, thank you for joining me. I'll see you later.